Hey, what's up guys? Adam here. And I wanted to get this loom out to you so you saw exactly how I built this job board. Basically, for those that don't know, this job board is basically going to display immediately when these job posts are done uh, or posted on Upwork for any relevant job that I want. So let's say uh, I want to look for click funnel jobs. Well, all of the click funnel jobs that are being posted on Upwork are being sent right here. Same with Kajabi jobs, same with active campaign stuff. All, all of this is now organized so you can get the jump on it. And all of these labels are being shown. So if it's coming in now, I'll label it as a fresh post. If it waits there too long, I'll have it automatically. Uh, and I just cleared this not too long ago, but they'll wind up in the stale post and then you can clear that. But I just had so many cards. They, they really fill up. It's crazy how many job posts there are. And as you see, these automations are happening on the side as I'm talking right now. So if you are gonna bring in your team, which is really cool because we also, you know, I'm bidding on the projects like by myself for my personal account, but if you have an agency, you can have your VAs come in here and also bid on projects for, for the agency. And that's really cool because um, I think you'll see on some of these, we're putting who is responsible for the the project or for bidding on the project here. And so the, the team members know, okay, this is, this is mine. I can go in and send the proposal. And the really nice thing is we also have and we'll, we'll save this for another video, but I have the ability to just click, you know, if you go into one of these cards, all of the information that the, the, the job post from Upwork gets displayed here. So uh, the different the, the different titles, well, let's go to a, okay, here's a, a go high level one. So this is more in my wheelhouse. I'd say. So go high level marketing funnel designer for a real estate investment firm. Okay, great. And so we can just press a button here that's generate proposal and this should pop up here. But like I said, we'll save this for another video because this kind of goes into a whole nother thing. As you see, all the information's uh, being displayed here. So you can just click right here, go in and bid immediately. And so it's a really nice way to keep these organized, be able to shift them around if they're, if they're no good, I can just say like not a good fit and it will make it disappear. And so, yeah, anything as, as far as organization, uh, it's, it's really helpful. And the ability to bring team members in here is really nice too, because uh, I find that, you know, having to go into Upwork every time, log in, go to find work, it could quit. It could get quite laborious. So, how does this work? Well, the main engine is through Zapier, and basically, for each one of these columns, like ClickFunnel, this correlates with in here. And so, what triggers this is an RSS from Upwork that's generated from the Find Work area. So, if you go in the Find Work and then click on say Infusionsoft, you can come right here and then you hit this and then it generates this whole string right here. This is the RSS. You just grab this URL right here and then you could put this in there to fire right into uh, and start the, 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 the zap. And then once that trigger happens, it's basically gonna make a card in here. And so as that data comes through, you can just tell it how you want to parse it, how you want to put it into the card, uh, into the lists, into the in particular board. And then you could do different labels, but I did a lot of the, the label automation and the button stuff on the Trello side. So I don't think you need to necessarily worry about this too much. So I just left that blank and then uh, as far as the card position, I put it on top. So the newest ones are on top and we can, I like to really bid on the newest stuff first because there's a highly, a high chance that the client 
is like still logged on to Upwork, really looking for freelancers. So I would say, you know, bid on those first if you see them come through. And that way you can just kind of have this open and see it come right to the top, which is really cool. And then these are just some other options that I, that I put in there. And so once that's done, you just publish these and then you can make as many as you want or get it very specific with the keywords. Sky's the limit here. Um, I did have to eliminate a couple because the board just filled up too quickly. I had to, um, I had to erase them because the whole trouble board was getting bogged down. So you want to think about, okay, how many can I realistically bid on? Because you want to not have yourself go crazy, right? Um, and have this be useful. So I hope you found this video useful. Uh, I hope that explains what we did here. It's pretty simple and yeah, try to structure this the best for, for you, obviously tweak it. So, so it's efficient for you and hopefully you can start bidding on a ton of different projects. Cause that's really what you need to start doing these days. Can't just send a couple out and hope that it works out for you. You have to be on the ball, send a lot of proposals and get in front of a lot of potential clients. Thanks guys.